Have you ever been in a normal conversation? I'm willing to bet you all have. It's a pretty simple question. Well, what would you say if I asked you that whilst in that conversation, you suddenly get a strange, out of the blue feeling that you've been there before? Some could say you got deja vu. I, for one, get this feeling quite often, and so do approximately one third of the population over their lifetime. However, what surprised me more was the fact that 30 to 40% of people have never experienced this, including my science teacher. So, for those of you, like Mr. Prattley, who have never experienced any form of deja vu before, let me tell you all about it. Deja vu is a concept discovered by the French philosopher Emile Boirac in the year 1876. In French, déjà vu means already seen, and the concept describes where you feel as if what you are currently experiencing has happened before, even though it hasn't. An example of when I have felt déjà vu is last month, when my family and I moved house. If you ask me, it was a pretty bold move by my parents, as my siblings and I, well, we hadn't seen the house until the day we moved in. Although, that's what made me so confused, and now here comes the strange part. As I was looking around my new room, I suddenly got that same strange feeling that I've had so many times before. The feeling that I'd been there, when obviously I hadn't. I couldn't have. Now, why does I feel like this? Well, let me first tell you about the brain. On either side of your brain, above both of your temples, are located two temporal lobes, which, in simple terms, stores your consciousness and your long-term memory. Now, within each temporal lobe, you have a hippocampus, which stores your short-term memory. And occasionally, the signaling between the two can get mixed up and malfunction, causing your brain to think that what you are currently experiencing has happened before, causing you to experience déjà vu. Now, what I bet a lot of you who have experienced déjà vu didn't know is that I can sometimes be more prone to people than others. For example, if you are between the ages of 15 and 25, then you are statistically more likely to experience déjà vu than others outside of this age group. Similarly, if you are more tired than you should be, or under a lot of stress, then again, déjà vu is more likely to occur. Although, what I found interesting about this topic is that déjà vu can sometimes link to disorders affecting the brain, like epilepsy. You see, when you experience déjà vu, excess amounts of dopamine, which is the chemical that makes you feel good, may be released into the system. And similar studies have shown that a large course of epileptic episodes is caused by excess dopamine in the system, causing the two to relate. So finally, I hope that the next time someone says to you that déjà vu is a memory from a past life or a glitch in the matrix, you will be able to say that, actually, déjà vu is caused by a miscommunication between where the long-term and the short-term memory is stored, aka the temporal lobe and the hippocampus. Have you ever been in a normal conversation? <laughs> Fantastic, Chloe. Fantastic. Something I, I'd never even thought about before, and that's what I love about FEMA, taking interesting topics that we had considered before. I have experienced it, um, and, and now I know. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to go over to our judges and see if the judges have any questions for you. Adam. Hi, yes. Um, really interesting. I've also had some quite powerful experiences of deja vu, and as a consequence, I started looking it up, and the internet is a is a wasteland of, of different resources on this. I just wonder, how, how did you pick the sources that you, you drew your information from? Um, I went to a list of different websites, and then I found a lot of like common explanations that were all similar. So I mainly chose those ones. And then I also saw some videos about little fun facts about it, like um, there's Deja Reve, which is deja vu, but it's in your dreams. So it's yes. when you have the same dream repeatedly. But I didn't have time to fit many of them in, so I kept it with main facts. Thank you. Brilliant. And Joel, would you like to ask something? Yes. I mean, there's so much that you've had to fit into the three minutes. How have you gone about preparing for Fame Lab Academy? Um, I've done lots of practice, and we had the school final as well. And it's mainly just me doing it over and over again, getting deja vu. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then just practicing it lots. Well, I've definitely learned something new. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, judges, and thank you very much, Roy.